Hello guys, see you again. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the data binding, how it works in Spring MVC framework. So I have a basic setup. If you uh, if you looked at my previous video, that's how I used to talk about the request mapping and the get mapping. And uh, now suppose I make a call to slash user slash, it will go to sign up form.jsp page. I have a sign up .jsp page and uh, I have uh, two parameters, two text, which we use uh, for the user to input their first name and last name. And after I click this button, it will go to my sign up and it will go to the post. And actually, eventually it's gonna go to slash user slash sign up. So now problem is, how can I, okay, how can the, uh, in the post mapping method, retrieve the val value for the first name and last name the user input in the browser, right? One way you can do is in the request mapping, post mapping this one, you can use the request prompt and you can use a string first name. And this first name will return the value, will hold the value of whatever the value you input in the browser for the first name. But this is not a good way. The other way we can do is using data binding. The framework automatically provides data binding for you. So in order to use the data binding, you have to have a model. Okay, I will create a package called the model. Okay and I'm gonna create a class called the user. And for this user, I'm gonna have two fields, okay? Private string, first F-I-R-S-T name, okay? And then private string, last name. And we are gonna have a getter setters. So I'm gonna using the ID to generate the getter setters for me. And another one is I want to IDE to generate the two string method, okay? So that's my user domain model. And then what I'm gonna do is here, I put a user, user here. And in this case, when the spring trying to submit the form to this method, when you see, okay, here I have a domain model and here we are trying to bind the values you input for the first name and last name, bind to this domain model, first name, last name. You have to make sure this name, variable name, is the same as this one. That's how it find where to bind, okay? Uh, I'm not gonna display on the page since we haven't talked about that. We will talk about it in the next video. So here I just output into my console. So the next step is I'm gonna run. Then I'm gonna show you in the browser. Make a request to slash user slash and it's gonna be submit your request to slash login. Okay, I slash sign up, okay. So let's wait a little bit. And now I'm gonna switch to the browser. Okay, so the application is up. I'm gonna make a request call to slash user slash. So you will see the form and I'm gonna type my name and my first name, last name and click sign up. Yay, you will see congratulations, you sign up successfully. This is the result page. And then now I'm gonna switch to back to the IntelliJ to show you if we actually get the values inside the console. As you can see, when it goes to sign up, you put a user here. And when I system dot out print line, this user, you will see it print out this thing. And this is my two string method. You get the first name is Rujan and last name is XING. So this is the data binding, which the Spring framework will automatically retrieve the values 
you put it in your form okay he will automatically bind all the values into this domain model in the post method that is uh, data, data binding but data binding also has uh, other things which is uh, it can automatically convert the string string type into like an integer double and it can handle nested relationships but it doesn't it cannot handle for uh, if you want to bind a form uh, a string value into a reference object i'm gonna show you in next slides uh, next video sorry for that okay thank you so much for watching this video and uh, see you next time.